16 years old. Um, I got into an altercation with a bunch of guys because I had other guys with me from Brooklyn. They had like, back in the days, you know, Vinny's had them Brooklyn leathers with the Brooklyn caps. But we was in Queensbridge, so, you know, Queens, Brooklyn. And um, they were standing in front of the chicken spot, right in front of the Rikers Island bus, 21st Street. Right. Um, and they were blocking the exit. Back then, like, I was really gangster. Like, you know, I been, I was raped, I've been through a lot, and I kind of really felt like anything a man could Closed do. Off. Right, anything a man could do, I could do it better. So it was just like, they were standing there. And I felt like because they were blocking the door, it was no need for me to say, excuse me, this is a door. So I pushed through the door. The people that was with me walked behind me. We was ordering our food. And in the process of us ordering our food, the guys that I was with overheard them saying that they were going to jump them. And me and the guys that we were just with just literally had a whole conversation about this before it happens. And words are very powerful. You really Absolutely. speak things into existence. Mm -hmm. And this boy just said to me, like, he had a young mother, <coughs> like, when he was from Brooklyn, and his mom told him, like, to never walk around a girl's project, you know, alone or without a weapon. And I'm telling him, like, you know, you're good. Like, you with me. Everybody know me out here. Right. Even though I was young, but my mom and my parents is very known. So... I feel like that statement that he said kind of like talked everything into existence. And um, in the process of us sitting there, he overheard them say that they was gonna jump, jump them. So me, I'm a protector by nature. Like I feel like I need to protect everybody that I'm with and I'm still kind of a little bit like that. So I went to the door and I'm explaining to him like, you know, what's like what's going on? It's Christmas Eve. We're not trying to get into none of that. We're trying to chill. Like, you know, we don't want no problems. He was very adamant about whatever it was that he felt. He was drunk. He's been drinking since probably I think the autopsy had said like three o'clock. It was like nine o'clock at the time that we was at the chicken spot. And um he like, bitch, who the fuck is you? And I'm I'm that bitch, like, I'm rising to occasion. And he's like, I'm trying to tell him, like, yo, like, this is this is it. Like, these people are with me. We're not going, we're not doing any of that. He wasn't trying to hear that. Whatever he was trying to say, however drunk he was, he was only trying to hear himself. Still, at this point, I could be on some trying to go crazy, but I really didn't want to, want to do that. So I will not lie, I grabbed my knife thinking that with grabbing my knife that I'm gonna scare him into backing off. That ain't work. So now we going back and forth, we arguing back and forth. I get tired of arguing. I grab my phone, cause I'm gonna call my dad now. Like, I'm never the type of person to call my dad, but I got other people with me. And it's kind of getting out of control now. When I reached to, to the phone, he threw beer on me. So now I'm fighting him. But in the process of me fighting him, he's grabbing on my clothes, grabbing on my breasts and being a rape victim, mm -hmm. it triggered me. Now I feel like I have this knife that I had in my hand that I was trying to use to protect myself. Now I'm trying to get you because I feel like I want to get you before you get me. Mm -hmm. In the process, it was like a whole bunch of snow on the curb. He fell over the snow. I fell on top of him with the knife. At this point, I could have still stopped, but I didn't because I was in a rage. Yeah, I was no. I was fighting for my life, trying to fend you know him off. In my mind, right. I, in my mind, I'm about to get raped again. Right. So in the process of all of that, you know, somebody grabs me. I don't even realize everything that's going around me at the time. I had a bunch of guys with me. It was the guy that was from Brooklyn, his brother, his cousin, and my cousin. Wow, this is going on. Everybody. They were right, they were about to get jumped. A million people ran out of their projects and while that is going on, they're getting jumped. So they grabbed me like, we gotta go, we gotta go. So the way the chicken spot is on 21st Street is like an entrance right here and then there's like an entrance right there to the steps so that you can go down to the steps. So we run back into the entrance where the steps is not at and we're just looking at everything and if you look, you just look like if we didn't defend ourselves, we probably all would have been dead. That's how many of them it was. Mm -hmm. It was so many of them. And then, like, my victim, he, like, got up, and he staggered. He fell on the, the door, and he slid down. And I, at that moment, I knew he was dead. At this point, now I'm just like, I don't know what to do. They grab me, and we run down the train, the station. The guys, they chased us. For a couple of minutes, I thought they was gonna get us, but they didn't. The train pulled off. 
and that's how that ended. And then I took myself in five days later. Mm-hmm.